Hello friends, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. This is MS SQL Server Management Studio tutorial for the beginners. In this tutorial, we are going to cover following topics. Number one, we will see how to access the SQL Server error logs here in the Management Studio. Then we will see if you are a query person and you like everything to perform by writing the queries, you can do the same thing as well with the help of single query. I will show you how. The third one, find the error logs location if you are connected to the SQL server. Somehow you are in a situation and you want to send your SQL logs to some other team. In that case, you need that file. So you, how you will search it. So I will show you how you can search it if you are connected to the SQL server. Also, I will show you if you are not connected to the SQL server. In that case, as well, you can reach at the logs location. Let's begin. We are connected uh, with the SQL Server and uh, we are inside the SQL Server Management Studio. So just expand this uh, node management and you will have this SQL Server logs and the node. You can do the right click, go to the view, click server logs. And then you have a very great organized window of the SQL Server logs. Everything given in detail at this place so you can see you have a date for the particular event time everything and the message is here you don't need to go one by one simply put the cursor and just keep scrolling one by one and you will have all those message here in the details window at the bottom so you will get all the details on the left hand side you can see we have the current log files which is loaded and showing you the uh, the logs data also if the files is big those are saved as an archive you can particularly select particular archive and you can see all the logs data here other information is also available but we are not going to discuss because that is not the part of this tutorial so we will focus only on the sql server logs so this is a very quite useful window we have the filters and the tool sections as well so you can do a lot more here with the logs so this was the first thing how we can access the server logs you have seen here now the second thing if you want to do this thing you want to search particular thing in the error logs with the help of query you can do it easily we have a simple statement that we can run and we can provide the keyword and we can search that keyword in the error logs so this is the statement that we have to write here in the query window and this is the part where you can give your search keyword please note down you this is the search keyword and simply execute this like a query and you will get that server log here This is so simple. One small thing and you can search it. I hope this is clear to you. Now we are going to the third point. So suppose you are in the situation and you need the error log files and you have to send it to the different team. In that case you have you need the location of that file how you will find it. So this is the query that will help you to find the location of error log. Very simple. The query is given in the description. You can copy it and come back here in the management studio, paste this query and execute it. And simply this will show you the error log file location. See this. This is inside the program files, SQL server, MS SQL 16.0 log and the file name is error log. So this way you can get the error log file location easily. Okay guys, now moving further on the point number four. So in the point number four, we are trying to find the error logs location in case of we are not able to connect somehow to the SQL server. In that case, you cannot run the query. So how you will reach to that location? So the fourth point is going to tell you how you will reach at that server log location. Okay. So what we need to do? 
we have to open the SQL Server Configuration Manager first. So once you install the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, at the same time that this SQL Server Configuration Manager is installed. So you can go to the Windows search and type Configuration Manager and you will get the results. So this is the Configuration, configuration Manager, launch it and you will see this kind of window okay at here you have to click on the SQL server services and this will take few seconds to load the data on the right hand side in the tabular format once you see the results you have to select the first one in our case uh, it should not be running so but the state is running as an example you can assume that the server is stopped in that case you have to do the right click go to the properties and this window will appear so we have so many tabs we have to click on the startup parameters tab the second one okay so this is the startup parameters tab so we are inside the startup parameters tab and we have the existing parameters so which one the parameter starting with the hyphen E is the right one. This is the path of the log file. So you just simply click on it. In this box, you can do the control A and select the path and copy it. And you can reach at the location. See this? So this is the process you can get the error log file if you are not able to connect the SQL server so you can reach it manually at the logs location that simple I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful so please like this tutorial if you want to learn more you can tell us you can subscribe our channel that's all for now and guys thanks for watching quality help